Hey guys! So today we're creating one of the most trending Instagram cakes at the moment. The fat unicorn. Now this is all over Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook. And I like it. I like fat unicorns. They used to be super fat. So <laughs> this reminds me of like childhood. I think these guys are super cute so let's get started. Now to start this unicorn cake, the first thing I'm going to do is make a cake. And I'm using a vanilla cake and it's a real simple recipe. I just opened a box. But I added a step because I added cream cheese to this and it was more silky. I've been adding cream cheese to a lot of things lately. Now I wanted this cake to be purple but I don't really like the shade of purple that it is. It's more like a I heart potion. But I wanted like a romantic moment. You know, I wanted a romantic moment. But it's already on the video so I can't change it now. now I'm using three layers of cake and I'm just adding some vanilla buttercream in between each layer. And then I gave this baby a crumb coat. I placed this into the fridge to chill and while it was chilling I was watching three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Missouri? Nebraska or Missouri? I think it's Missouri. Well anyways, my friend is in like SEG AFTRA, whatever that is. He let me borrow his screener. I don't know if that's legal. And I watched it and it's so good. The three leads in it are really good. Sam Rockwell plays that like I want to punch this guy in the face character so well. Francis McDormand is great and I think that Woody Harrelson just like upgrades every movie he's in. Have you seen it? What do you think? I'm adding my final layer of buttercream and this is whiter than the other buttercream because I added some white food coloring to it. I just wanted this layer of buttercream to be a little bit brighter. Then I placed this into the fridge for 30 minutes. Took it out and started adding some sprinkles. I wanted this to be like a very sort of generic looking cake. So I'm just adding some rainbow sprinkles onto the side of it. Some basic rosette buttercream piles on top. Some more rainbow sprinkles and then back into the fridge it went. Now let's create these fat unicorns. The first thing I did was roll out some white fondant to create a unicorn arm. And I just rolled it into a cone shape and cut it to size. And then using my fingers, I took some white fondant, created small triangles to make unicorn ears. I fell when I was hiking. That's why there's so many scratches and cuts on my hands. I like hiking. I like climbing things and getting rough. That's what she said. Unicorn hordens are like one of my favorite things to create out of fondant. I took some dark mustard yellow fondant and I just rolled them into really thin cones. Stacked them on top of each other and then twisted them around to create my unicorn horn. You know sometimes on Instagram like the unicorn horns, they just look like swirled sticks. There's no like cone factor, I don't know why it bothers me. I use this technique every time I create a unicorn horn and it always comes out perfect. Now to create the unicorn's hooves, I just rolled my fondant into a log and just cut out different medallion shapes with my sidekick paring knife. Yo, this knife is like ride or die. If I'm ever in a fight, this knife has my back and it'll cut you, like literally. Now the hooves and the horn need to be painted gold and to do this I took a paintbrush wet with a little bit of magic sauce and I just brushed it on to all of my different fondant pieces. I had a lot of magic sauce last night. It was so much fun. We were at a dueling pianos bar and there was just magic sauce everywhere. Now I'm gonna dry brush some of my luster dust. When I do it this way, less of the luster dust comes off. And this video is brought to you by my Koali Pop store where you can buy these awesome unicorn designs and these awesome tees which also come in kid sizes now. Just makes sense because a lot of my designs look like they're just, they're made for kids. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff but it's taken a long time and they haven't come yet. That's what she said. <laughs> but it's coming on March 7th, it said. Let's create the body. I took some white fondant and added some MCM to make it harder. Rolling it, mixing it all in with my hands and then I started to shape the belly of the unicorn. This is a really big belly. I think it's too big, maybe. I mean, the fat unicorns that I saw on Instagram, their bellies were big, but this is just like out of control. It's like too much, like me when I was 12. And once I was happy with the belly, I just used my little sidekick to create some legs. Um, This was my first fondant figure and I was really nervous. 
felt like I had to work super fast because I was scared that the fondant was gonna crust. Um, and I was just tucking like all of the extra fondant underneath the figure because I knew that nobody was gonna see it. So the bottom side of this looks like trash. <laughs> Using my funding tool, I just created a separation between his legs and his fupa. You know, I wanted to make sure you knew where the fupa ended and his legs began, you know? I wanted his legs to be super short because short legs and a big belly, they like complement each other, sort of. <laughs> I was gonna ask you guys for names for this unicorn, but then I decided to call him Ethan because his fupa game is really strong. And I like H3H3. Let's create the unicorn head. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Just add some MCM to my fondant so it's harder and then roll it into an oval shape. Now with my palms, I'm kind of just defining where I want the snout to be. And I want the snout to be at least two thirds of the way down. But that way I can place his eyes lower. I think that characters that have low set eyes are really cute. Now with some fondant tools, I gave him nostrils. And I made his mouth deep because I'm gonna be inserting a unicorn tongue. Now I'm gonna brush on some magic sauce and add in his eyes. Two big black circles of fondant. And then in goes his unicorn horn. Now I think unicorns with mohawks are like adorable, which is why I gave one to like Doodle. I even gave one to the Rainbow Zebra Zabroni. That's why I decided to give Ethan a mohawk as well. He looks like a fat pegasus from Hercules, huh? And I started with a triangle, um, and I just used my fondant tools to create some texture. And I kind of pushed it over to one side to give an illusion of movement. Now with the back of the mane, I did the exact same thing. I just used my fondant tools to give it texture, and then I pushed the front of this piece to the left, and the other part to the right. Or is it to the right and to the left? I don't remember. But it gives this illusion of movement and it also makes the mohawk look fuller from different angles. Now I'm gonna add in both unicorn ears. And then give him two catch lights. I decided to give him four catch lights, two big ones, and then two very teeny ones at the bottom because I thought it'd make him look cuter. You know, like more of his eyes catching more of the light. I just realized that I should have given him a beanie, a red beanie, because then he would really look like Ethan. I'm curious, do you guys watch H3H3? Now, I thought that the mohawk needed like a little more fabulousness, sis, 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 sis. So I'm painting on some blue luster dust just to give it a little bit more of a shine. Now, if this unicorn's Ethan, then the next unicorn's gonna be Gila. Let's create Gila. I'm doing the exact same thing at the beginning, which is why I'm not gonna show you the body, because it's the same process. If you wanna see it again, you guys just hit the rewind button. I'm just gonna show you the head. That's what he said. <laughs> Created some nostrils with my fondant tools and a big old smiling mouth. Just waiting for a tongue. That's what she said. <laughs> and I painted on some magic sauce to her eyes and then placed on two pieces of black fondant. And I gave her some eyelashes and this was really difficult because they were small. And so it was really hard to control the shape and size. Placed in her tongue, her awesome horn, and her two unicorn ears. And I decided to give her a mane that's made of a white fondant and just have it curl down her face. I wanted to make sure I had two different unicorn hairstyles. Now I just finished her face, added on some catch lights to her eyes. I added some white pearl luster dust to her mane just to give it some more shimmer. Ooh, boo boo, you looking cute. Now let's stand these babies up. I'm standing my unicorns up against a foam fake cake. So I know exactly what they're gonna look like when I put them up against the real cake. This belly looks like Santa's like bowl full of jelly, doesn't it? It's so thick. Now with a little bit of magic sauce, I just wet where the hooves are gonna be and also where his arm's gonna lay. Added on his arm and the golden hooves and I kind of just wanted it like resting on his jelly belly. Who needs a table when you got all that? <laughs> I thought they were gonna need necks, but I was wrong. I don't know, but that tongue sticking out makes him look like he's super thirsty. And with Gila, I did the same thing. Uh, almost, I put on her head and then I attached her arm with some magic sauce and then her golden hooves. And now my unicorns are close to finish, so I grabbed my cake. Fat unicorn cakes are supposed to have like a slice cut out of them. Well, not like a slice, but it's like they're eating directly from the cake. They're not slicing it up, you know? And I didn't know how to cut into it, so I did like some method baking and just 
bit into it. Um, and I didn't get a lot, so I bit into it some more. And I was just gonna keep doing it, but then it was, I don't like icing. <laughs> so I ended up using a spoon to just carve out the perfect shape. Now I took my unicorns and just placed them on the side of the cake next to each other. And the reason that they're missing arms is because I wanted to make it so that their other arms were like holding hands, you know? But I didn't know how to do it. The luster dust from the hooves were getting all over Ethan's arms and I just, I was over it. So I just added on two regular arms and I didn't even do that properly. And I wanted them to look like they were eating a ton of cake. With a paintbrush I just started adding icing and cake crumbs everywhere. I wanted it to look like, you know, they were just at home, nobody was watching, there's no judgment here so let's just pig out. It's like me when I'm home alone and I find this like whole sleeve of Oreo cookies I've been hiding from everyone and nobody knows that they exist so nobody's gonna know if they're in my belly. Once I finished applying the icing and the cake to Gila, I was finished. Look at this chubby pair. I couldn't make their hands touch so I switched out their eyes so that they were looking at each other. I wanted them to be like sharing a moment where they realized like now we're perfect for each other. You know that meme where it's like a hot couple at the beach and they're half naked and then the caption reads, this could be us but we like cake. This is a couple <laughs> that wrote that. <laughs> now the more I thought about this, the more I was like, there's only so much cake you can eat, you know? And I know that they're eating a lot of cake but they're probably eating a lot of different things too like gourmet pizzas and veggie burgers with a ton of fries, brownies, cookies, and maybe even like a caramel frappuccino with an extra shot of espresso, whipped cream, and some caramel drizzle. I'm getting like food sweats just thinking about all this stuff. <laughs> I'm curious, who do you think is cuter, Ethan or Gila? And also, are you a sucker for mohawks? I am just not on people, on animals and unicorns. Hey, I used to have a mohawk. I burned all those pictures. <laughs> and if you want to see more unicorn content, I've got my unicorn cake named Cena, the armored unicorn known as Doodle, and some awesome unicorn strawberries. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on in the community tab and be notified when a video goes up on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!